Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord will keep you. The peace of God that surpass all understanding will rest and abide with you. The Lord will shine his countenance upon you and your family and your joy will know no bounds. Joy unspeakable shall be your portion in Jesus' name. You are welcome again. I have a drive. We have a personal mission this year to reach out to one million souls with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So today, we have a message, another message. My name is Pastor Paul Adele. Like I normally say, one time student union you know, president, University of Lagos, where God used me to bring about a change. One time school teacher, one time banker, one time practice manager, now a church pastor. Let's go. We are talking about Jesus, the great deliverer. Jesus. The great, the great deliverer, Mark 5, 1 to 20. Mark 5, 1 to 20. I read some few verses. Mark 5, from verse 1. Then they came to other, the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gadarenes. And when they had come out of the boat, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no one could bind him, not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains. And the chairs have been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces. Neither could anyone tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying out and calling himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him. This is a story of a man that was possessed, according to the Bible, by legions of demons. And according to theologians, legions of demons range between 2,000 to 6,000. Between two to six thousand, say six thousand. If I go in take, taking the upper limit, this guy was held bound by six thousand demons. One man. Now, in this story of this Bible character that we call the Gadara demoniac, he was born to be an evangelist because at the end of it all, when he met Jesus, he worshipped Jesus and was delivered. He became an evangelist. This is where I'm going, beloved, my friend. You were born for an assignment. You were born for a purpose like this man. This gentleman was held down by 6,000 demons. Why? Because the devil did not want him to fulfill his destiny. But the Bible said the step of a good man is ordered by the Lord. So one day, in the midst of his madness, I mean serious madness, that nobody can tame him. He met Jesus. He worshipped Jesus. Where were you born? Why are you on earth? You see, if you are going to fulfill destiny and purpose, the first step is Jesus, meeting Jesus. Let me give you my own life story. I was born a Muslim called Muhammad. Went to university. In fact, two, of, two university, in fact. And I had a degree in chemistry, a teaching degree. Trained as a teacher, became a, a work as a teacher for a year, doing my youth service. Got training in banking, IBFC Augusto in Nigeria, became a banker. After becoming a banker in the UK, work as a practice manager after going on a, taking some training with Alto, one of the best law training firms in the UK. But in all this, one day, in the Muslim month of Ramadan, with a career in teaching, a career in banking, a practice manager, having understanding of solicitors account rules, understanding of how to finance businesses, with various trainings and backgrounds, one day, in the month of Ramadan, I met Jesus. When I met Jesus, a great change happened in my life. I used to have wet dreams. Women coming to sleep with me in the dream. I used to have snakes biting me in the dream. I used to have, see this man, huge man, beating me in the dream, and I would cry, there would be tears in the physical. I was asked to read the Quran, the Quran, but it could not help me. I came to Jesus. 
and I was set free from all these demons. And not only that, Jesus ushered me into fulfilling my destiny as a pastor. I would have said working in a bank is good. That's, I'm making money. Working as a practice manager is good. But God created me for something better and something higher. Why are you on earth? Why were you born? What is your purpose? You can be a doctor now, but that might not be your divine assignment. You might be perhaps an accountant now, but that might not be the purpose to which you were created. For you to know your purpose in, on earth, you first need to connect sincerely and truly with Jesus. Oh, does that mean accountant, doctors are not fulfilling purpose? There are people who have passion for it, who have love for it, who are Christians, and they have love for it. That's their purpose. I'm talking of you that does not know Jesus, that have not discovered why you are on earth. I'm talking of you afflicted by demons. I'm talking to you hell bound in sickness, hell bound in one crime or the other. Like this cathedral demoniac, there is hope for you. Yes. It can mean that you are held down to addictions, to drugs, to fornication, to adultery. It can mean that you are held down to the vices that pull down societies and communities. It can mean that you are held down to crime. And you, you're not finding it easy. And you want to get out and you're not getting out. It can mean you're held down by occult activities, by witchcraft. And you want to get out and it's the demons are saying no. The first step is come to Jesus. Like the Gadara demoniac, like some of us did. We came to Jesus. We surrendered to Jesus. And our change come. It takes a simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life in Jesus' name. When you say this prayer, you become what we call born again. Listen, Jesus did not stop that guy. Jesus did not tell that guy to go and eat grass. He did not give him one chemical to drink. Jesus Christ's presence was enough to command the demons to go. That's what happened to us. Nobody did any deliverance for me. I didn't go to any, for any deliverance. Those demons left as I continued to worship Jesus. This is your day of deliverance. This is your day of peace. This is your day of joy. Come to Jesus, the great, the great deliverer. God bless you. Look for a Bible believing church where you will be taught the word, where you will worship Jesus. Have a very good day. God bless you.